Safi bwana ni siku nyingine nzuri kabisa tuna connect tena hapa double updates. Mimi natumai siku yako inaendelea kusonga vizuri sana. Naitwa Mr. Double J kama kawaida hii hapa ni ulimwengu wa siasa jamani kwa wale ambao wanakutana na sisi hapa kwa mara ya kwanza tunawaomba kitu kimoja tu mjiunge na familia na ni rahisi kabisa unachotakiwa kufanya ni kusubscribe tu alafu mengi zaidi yatafuata nikukumbushe tu kwamba ukisubscribe utakuwa umejitengenezea nafasi nzuri sana au so bana lakini uh, sitachoka kukuambia asante wewe ambaye siku zote tunakuwa pamoja au so bana na sasa hivi i think uh, issue kubwa ambayo inaendelea ni issue ya bipartisan and uh, sasa hivi tunavyozungumza bwana haiendelei mazungumzo ambayo yalianza wiki jana watu hawaelewani hapa mtazamaji wangu na kwenye video hii nataka tuangalie hawaelewani kwa sababu gani ni kitu kipi hiki ambacho kinafanya mpaka hawa watu hawaelewani unanipata kwa sababu uh, tulikuwa tunatarajia <laughs> vitu kama hivi in fact mimi ni miongoni mwa watu ambao nilikuwa natarajia hawa watu wasi, wasielewane kwa sababu let me tell you one thing Sidhani kama unaweza ukaenda mahakama au kotini alafu ukaniambia mimi nilie wewe ulie alafu sasa hakuna mtu ambaye anaamua unajua hata sisi tukaelewana tu hivi ni, ni, ni vigumu kwa sababu hiyo njia ya kuelewana tu ni zungumze yule ya zungumze ndio ilisha kataa hiyo nyingine so ikija sasa hivi kwenye hii ambayo inaendelea ilitakiwa mimi nizungumze wewe uzungumze alafu sasa kuna watu wawili watatu ambao wanakaa hapa katikati wanajaribu tukupima like hao wanasema hivi hao wanasema hivi so matokeo yanatakiwa kukaa vipi sio kama unanielewa uh, mtazamaji wangu matokeo yanatakiwa kukaa vipi lakini kama tuna na hagi una wewe wewe una hagi una mimi then inakuwa vigumu nacho maanisha hapa ni kwamba hapa kuna kuna azimio you understand kuna azimio alafu huku kwingine kuna Kenya kwanza wamekutana wazungumze sasa swali ni wataelewana vipi bila hawa watu ambao si tunahitaji hawa middlemen au hawa watu ambao ndo wanaamua like okay tumewasikiliza tumewasikiliza so tunaweza tukakaa chini tena tuka at least tukatoa maamuzi fulani ambayo kila mtu atakuwa ameridhika you understand huyu amesema huyu amesema lakini tumeleta pamoja tukajaribu kusimplify unanipata eh tumejaribu kusimplify ili tuone inakuwaje nao hapa sasa Azimio wanasema kwamba itabidi isimame hii shughuli and uh, Azimio suspends by partisan talks for seven days siku saba kabisa uh, mazungumzo haya hayatakuwa uh, wanasema they says uh, or says they fail to persuade Kenya kwanza on terms of engagement au so bana alafu kitu kibaya kwenye mazungumzo haya ni kwamba Azimio wanakuja na kitu ambacho wanataka alafu Kenya kwanza nao wanakuwa na kitu ambacho wanataka. Hakuna mtu ambaye anakuja like now tuanze ya fresh. Let's talk. Wacha tuzungumze ni jamani. Wacha nataka tutengeneze hii issue au tunataka tutengeneze hii issue. Unajua kama mimi nimekuja na na zangu kumi wewe umekuja na zako kumi alafu mwisho siku azizi zikafanana kwa sababu uh, wako same tofauti tofauti like azimio kuna kitu ambacho wanataka. Azimio kuna kitu ambacho wanataka but Kenya kwanza kuna kitu ambacho wana defend. You understand? Eh kitu chao ambacho wana defend ispo waspo defend then inaharibika isiyo mnaelewa we all know what happened kitu ambacho kilitokea kwenye uchaguzi wa mwaka 2022 na... e, sote tunajua the, the, the only problem ambao ipo hapa ni sava hakuna 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 kitu kingine unaona unaona hiyo issue wa gharama ya maisha sijui nini hiyo tayari imewashinda hiyo hawawezi like we are talking about something ambao wao wenyewe wanaweza hii issue ya sava sisi kwamba hawaiwezi wanaiweza kuifungua like sio 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 kitu kama gharama ya maisha unajua gharama ya maisha ni kitu ambacho kinahitaji time nini unajua eh mipango za hapa na pale do Kenya kwanza huaga wanadanganya wana like eh hey, ndo tunataka kutengeneza mlicho wa ribu ndo sijui tunashughulikia ndo sijui tumetengeneza timu fulani ndo tumetenga ndo tutafanya ndo sijui nini unanipata so hiyo Azimio najua ndio lazima waweke hapo. Unajua the reason why wanawekaga gharama ya maisha ndio isionekane ni wao tu. Wanataka kitu chao like wanataka ku confirm tu ushindi wao alafu waende. Ah, lazima wanaongezea pia na gharama. That's the reason why waliweka pia hiyo gharama ya maisha mbele. Ndio isionekane wana focus na ushindi wao au kitu ambacho uh, 
uh, kina 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 wasumbuo ambacho ni ushindi wao unalelewa mtazamaji wangu so issue hapa ni server there is that's the only thing ambao inaweza kukosanisha you understand so acha nikusomee hii hapa Kenya Kwanza by partisan team says talks um or Kenya Kwanza by by partisan team says talks suspended because Azimio team prioritized preservation of IEBC servers while Kenya Kwanza prioritized the IEBC selection panel Unaelewa so hapa nataka tuelewane ambacho kinaonekana ni kwamba hawa watu walikaa chini wamezungumza zaidi ya wiki moja you understand and miongoni mwa vitu ambavyo tayari walikuwa washakubaliana ni tutaifanya pia nje ya bunge at least tuone itakuwaje unanipata sasa issue kubwa hapa ni kwamba hii issue ya server inakuwaje issue ya server inakuwaje i'm very sure watu wengi wanatamani kujua what happened it's not all about tunarudi nyuma wao wao wanatuambiaga ah ilishapita twende mbele but kama ilishapita na tukapata ajali hapo hapo inamaanisha tusipoiangalia tukienda bado tutapata tu ajali lazima tuangalie like ai hapa ni nini waga inakuwa hapa kwa nini tulipata ajali hapa ni kitu cha kutengeneza ni kitu cha kurekebisha tu au ni kitu cha kuvunja kabisa tu tufuata hata tena barabara nyingine options ziko nyingi sana but issue hii ya sava lazima iangaliliwe kwa sababu kila uchaguzi utapata kwamba kuna maneno mengi ambayo yanatokea unanipata maneno mengi mara nyingi yanatokea unakuta oh Isaka Sanz yeye alifanya nini oh Chebukati naye alifanya nini and tunaelewa kabisa Chebukati ni miongoni mwa watu ambao hawakumtakia Raila Odinga hawakuwa wanatakia uh, Raila Odinga uh, uh, washi, ashinde au timu ya Raila ishinde na ugomvi tulianza kuona kitambo uadui ambao upo kati ya Chebukati na Raila tulianza kuiona kitambo so ni formula gani ambayo inaweza katengenezwa i'm very sure let me tell you one thing eh the only problem again with IBC ni kwamba IBC mtachagua mtu mmoja before hata tuingililie ni kitu kipi ambacho wana, wana, wanajaribu kumaanisha hapa uh, Kenya kwanza issue ya servers let me tell you one thing eh IBC bado itakuwa ni mtu mmoja ndo atakuwa chairman the reason why i don't like IBC bado chairman atakuwa mtu mmoja huyu mtu mmoja hawezi akapenda Raila na napenda Ruto at the same time it's very difficult so what normally happens ni kwamba huyu mmoja asipopenda Raila atapenda nani atapenda William Samoe Ruto Kenya yetu mnaijua vizuri sana Kenya yetu issue hata kwenye kupenda mtu kwaga inatokana na vitu vingine kama kupewa pesa there is hakuna kitu kingine hakuna kitu ambacho waga inaongeza connection zaidi ya pesa ukiwafuatilia vizuri hawa wanasiasa most of them it's all about money and that, that's the reason why unakuta kuna kuna timu fulani kama bado wame stick na William Samoe Ruto kwa sababu wao wanajua hapa mbona mambo fresh tu there is no problem what i enjoy siko kama unanipata what i enjoy like eh hey, mimi nikiwa na Ruto there is no problem na toboka hmm? mtu anakuambia wewe fanya mchakato hapo mimi nakupa bilioni moja alafu unapiga unapiga mshahara wako hata kwa miaka tano. haifiki hata hiyo bilioni moja my friend unakubali tu unasema eh hey, wacha nikule pesa mi maisha yangu yaendelee now that, that's what's happening mtu asikudanganye like chebukati sasa eh, alijua ruta ameshinda no mimi na kili zangu hizi ah chebukati lazima atakuwa amepewa kiasi fulani ah mimi nahisi kuna kitu kuna dalili tu ya chebukati lazima angepewa kitu fulani kwamba eh hey, shika hiyo wewe fanya mambo yako one to one to and that's the reason why Raila atakuja na point kwamba ikiwezekana basi hata kila county wawe na tume fulani ambayo ina toa matokeo like yani sisi tukienda bomas wanatupa tu bomas like ndo hii kitu ambacho kimetoka siaya huku kwetu ndo hii kitu ambacho kimetoka Nandi ama Kericho ndo hii kitu ambacho kimetoka coast ndo hii alafu sasa mwisho siku tunakuja tunajumulisha tunapata lakini sasa eti tu, 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 tuweke pamoja tutume bomas eti wahesabu huko ah unajua ni vitu ngapi vinafanyika hapa kwa barabara mingi sana that's the reason why i don't suggest issue ya kuchagua chairman mtu mmoja lazima atachukua side 
That's the only problem. Na hii side anachukua kwa sababu unaweza kukuta candidates ni wawili. Of course hawafanani. Mtu kama Raila si kwamba atakupea pesa umpe ushindi kwa sababu anajiamini like me I have people. People really loves me. Siko kama unanipata watu wananipenda. Sasa sina haja kulipa mtu kunipea ushindi kwa sababu hao watu ndio wanaweza kunipea ushindi. So there is no way me nitalipia mtu au nitalipa mtu eti ndio anipe ushindi. But there is that's the person ambaye anasema. Bwana, kwa sababu wewe ndio unaisimamia. Mimi nataka ufanyaje? Unipe ushindi. Wewe niambie tu unataka package aina gani? Unanipata eh? And they can do anything. Unaona Kenya, let me tell you, as per now tungeenda kupiga kura. Like tuseme Raila amesema watu wasiende kupiga kura. Au ye hayupo kwenye ballot na tuseme azimia wako kwenye ballot. It's very difficult to watu kufika hata 50% plus 1. Ni very difficult. But I'm very sure huyu ambaye atawekwa hapo akiwa na timu ya wakora wakora bana hiyo ni shughuli ya dakika moja na watapambana mpaka ifike 50 plus 1. And that's the reason why Ruto kubaki hapa <laughs> itakuwa rahisi sana. I'm telling you. Kama bado tutafocus na chairman Ruto atabaki hapa. Ruto atakuwa president 2027. I'm telling you for free. Kama tutachagua hii ya IBC ambao bado wanataka kuchagua hawa. Hatutoboi. Hatutoboi. Sema tu bahati yetu jamaa Ruto mwenyewe na timu yake bado hawajataka kubadilisha hiyo term limit. But hata wasipobadilisha term limit they can do it wanapanga laini tu anasema akitoka Ruto anaingia Gashago, akitoka Gashago anaingia Kindiki, akitoka Kindiki anaingia nani? So that's the, 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 big, the big point, the big picture. Si kama unanielewa? So it's, it's very sad, it's very sad kwa sababu huyu niga atabaki hapa milele. Na hii chain yake ya hao watu ambao wamejipanga hapa wataka hapo mpaka mwisho. That's the only problem I, I have. I'm telling you for free. Watu hawataki William Samuto but 2027 atakuwa present kwa sababu tu, tunakubalia hii IBC and that's the place ambao hata Raila mwenyewe anapiga hesabu anaona no. This is wrong. And sometimes it's not all about Raila Odinga. I'm telling you for free. There are many people ambao wanataka uongozi na wana uwezo wa kuongoza vizuri sana. But the reason why some of them some of them wanna give up wanasema there is no need ni kwa sababu tayari unajua tu ni nani atatangazwa. Kama Ruto mwenyewe I'm very sure sasa hivi tunavyozungumza. Kasha weka timu yake, kasha weka watu ambao watafanya hiyo kazi ya IBC. I'm 100% sure. Yaani hata kama commissioners ataleta Raila, chairman atakuwa ni mmoja tu. Alafu sasa watarudi kwenye rules ambazo zinatumika pale. Wao wakisha soma hizo rules, washaziangalia vizuri wanajua chairman anatangaza bro. Yaani wewe unakataa unakubali. Bwa kisha tangaza wameshatangaza. Na imagine wako kwenye serikali. You will do nothing. Unajua hiyo lazima tuangalie. It's it's a, a bigger picture by the way. My problem is narudia. Hii IBC tukikubali tukikubali endelee hivi hivi. Ilifanyika 2007, 2013, 2017, 2022. 2027. I'm telling you for free. Raila akiachana nayo sasa hivi asipofuata au asipofuatilia tumeisha we are finished tumeisha hata tusitarajie kitu kingine no but i'm telling you for free i'm telling you for free my friend so long as tutaendelea na hii system ya ibc ambayo ipo hatutoboi hatutoboi yani kwenye kupiga kura hakuna kitu ambacho tunaenda kufanya wale watabaki pale pale huyo chairman hawezi kachukua sides mbili atachukua side moja aksha chagua sidi moja kapewa bunda fulani nzuri atamtangaza kwa nini asimtangaze atamtangaza vizuri sana <laughs> unanisoma so Kenya tuna matatizo mengi sana and Raila anaendelea kutupambania ili hata wale watu ambao wana wana nia wana wana, uh, um, wana ndoto ya kupata nafasi hizi bwana siku za usoni waje waje wakafanya kwa sababu it's 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 been long to one of viongozi ambao wanaweza wakatufanyia vitu ambavyo tunahitaji and how the most of the time hawapati kwa sababu they, they, they don't want issue kupea mtu alafu ndo wawape ushindi sio ushindi mzuri unaona sasa hivi sasa ile vote cost kome kamargo akina nani walituleka kwenye matatizo mengi sana mpaka tunahangaika serikali yenyewe walikuwa wanafikiria wao ndo wana method wana, ni, wana njia fulani ya kuturudisha kwenye line lakini wapi 
it's becoming very very difficult for them ina kuwa vigumu wao kufanikisha haiwezekani yeye mimi nakwambia haiwezekani kabisa now so hii issue ya Kenya kwanza now let me tell you what's happening hapa hii Kenya kwanza cha kwanza ni kwamba hiyo server ina ukweli mzito sana hiyo server ina ukweli mzito sana kwa sababu kwa lugha nyepesi nitakurudilia yule ambaye haja hajasikiliza hiyo point kwa sababu nilisoma alafu ilikuwa imeandikwa kwa Kiingereza let me tell you one thing eh hii server ina ukweli mkubwa sana and uh, baba ameweka msumari kabisa amesema hii server lazima tuichunguze tuangalie kuna indaji so Kenya kwanza wanataka wachague panel nyingine mpya IBC wanapata like wao sasa hawataki turudi nyuma tuangalie server now then they are concentrating on bwana tuchague watu wengine like they want to give other people jobs wanataka ku replace what about tired washaenda like wao wako washaenda mbele like hataki kurudi nyuma wanataka kuchagua tena na once washachagua once washachagua inamaanisha huku nyuma nisikilize vizuri once wakishachagua inamaanisha huku nyuma wanaifuta hiyo server like inaanza fresh but as azimio azimio wanasema hivi hii inabidi tu preserve hii server tu preserve like to see vunje like to see haribu unajua Kenya kwanza nataka kuharibu but azimio wanataka tu preserve like tu weke vizuri like bado kuna vitu ambavyo inabidi tuangalie but Kenya kwanza wanataka so hapo ndo unakuta bipartisan ime imesimamishwa hawaelewani sio kama unanisoma hapo ndo kabisa matatizo yanaanza kuingililia hawaelewani that's what's going on but i'm telling you I'm telling you for free. Raila alishinda uchaguzi wa mwaka 2022. Ah kuna kitu ah Raila alishinda. Alishinda uchaguzi wa mwaka 2022. The, the reason why ni kwa nini hawa majamaa wanakuamilia sana hii hii server? Eh hey, wanaikuamilia kwa, kwa nini kuna kitu gani ndani au oh, ina gharama gani kuifungua? Bas watuambie nini na nini inahitajika ina, ina basi sisi tuifungue hiyo server. Tuangalie tu ni what's inside here? Nini hii inafanyika vibaya jamani? Ni nini hii tuna tunavurutana? Unanisoma? Unanisoma? Ndio kitu ambacho kina, kinafanyika hapa. Bas kama tutabaki tu sisi tunaongea tu wanachagua. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Ni IBC ile ile mtu ndo kabadilishwa, anayebadilisha mtu na he is very sure like huyu ambaye inamweka hapa huyu ananielewa ndani nje wapi so i know how i'll work with him baada atakuwa ni mtu wa serikali mimi nakwambia uoni kama ni balaa uoni kama ni balaa figa sambazo siko ndani ya hiyo server i'm telling you for free ni figa sambazo ni crazy yani kufunguliwa hivi mtu mwenyewe ana, hata anaweza sija atakafa. Yaani hata leo ikilik hiyo server like hii hi ndio kitu ambacho kinaonekana. He, mata kome anaweza kutoka mbio. Chebu kati sasa hawezi akaamini. Kama Argo naye sasa tazima simu kwa spigio na mtu yeyote. But bado tunataka kusubiri si nini. Najua hata tubadilisha badilishia tu. But wanasema unajua Kenya kwanza nataka ifutwe hiyo server but what I'm seeing ni hata ishafutwa. No I'm telling you for free. Hiyo server ishafutwa. Hakuna mm, kitu ndani. The reason why wanaifuta ni unakumbuka zile wiki mbili ambazo mambo zilikuwa nyingi sijui inaonekana sijui wa Venezuela wako ndani sijui wapi Kilimani Nairobi na nini. Mnakumbuka hiyo siku? Hizo siku zilikuwa kama sijui wiki mbili hivi. Mimi nakwambia hawa kama hawajaibadilisha hiyo mimi sijui. But wa, ndo walete hiyo idea ya kubadili ya, ya, ya kufuta. Washafuta sema tu hawakutaka kuambia watu kwamba tunafuta but kweli ambao upo ni kwamba washaifuta na vitu vitakuja tu kulipuka hata kama ni 20 years ambazo zinakuja tutajua tu kweli what happened but Raila sasa hivi naona tu akirudi street there is nothing he can do hawa watu hawataki hawataki vitu vya muhimu ambavyo wanatakiwa kufanya wao wenyewe hawataki sasa wewe niambie itakuwaaje <laughs> Yeah, itakuwa ni noma yes i'm telling you itakuwa ni noma kwa sababu kama mwezi mkafungwa server then it means i'm taking to what's 
what's inside mtazamaji wangu hebu niachie maoni yako jamani labda wewe unaiona vitu tofauti hebu nitupie maoni yako hapa chini kwenye sehemu ya comments nataka uniambie je hii issue unaizungumziaje wanakataa azimio wanasema ah tusivunje hiyo server tusifagie hiyo server but kwenye kwanza wanasema ah sisi bwana tuendelee mbele to select panel yani tuanze fresh kabisa au so bwana ah itakuwa ni noma zaidi itakuwa ni noma itakuwa vigumu itakuwa vigumu sana hebu nitupie maoni yako hapo chini kwenye sehemu ya comments lakini kikubwa zaidi ni subscribe hebu bwana bini kwa nyumbani mi i'm telling you huku data z- zinatumika kutumika we. wifi itumiacha huko uh, Nairobi jamani naomba watu 20 tu wanitumie 20 20 yes eh mimi nimeomba sasa kama unaweza kunitumia tu 20 watu 20 i'm sure itanisaidia data siku fulani ambazo niko hapa nyumbani so unaweza kutumia nambari ambayo ipo kwenye screen and uh, mimi nitashukuru sana tukutane kwenye video ambayo inafuata subscribe kama hauja subscribe jamani subscribe also bana bye bye